Hey guys, welcome to the channel Scuba Travel and Adventure. In this video I'll be basically unboxing and trying my new Insta360 ONE RS camera. That's an action cam, um, probably some of you may be familiar with it, some of you probably are not familiar with it, but uh, basically I made a couple videos uh, before on my Insta360 ONE R. Uh, that is a 4K mode and then I also have the 1 inch mode uh, that I use for filming. At the same time I showed you in a previous video uh, the 360 mod which has a dual lens uh, so you can shoot a 360 footage with it. Those are awesome cameras. Um, I used to use GoPros before and I switched last year to Insta360 so basically I just sold my last GoPro and now I'm moving towards uh, Insta360 that, uh, that makes it easier for me to keep all the batteries and all the accessories the same versus switching over between the GoPro batteries, GoPro cages and everything else. I didn't buy a twin edition this time because I have lenses from my previous uh, two cameras. I got a twin pack and a one inch mode. So batteries and everything, I bought a few of them. So I'm good there. I have a dual charger. So I just went with the 4K mode uh, because this is improved, uh, um, slightly improved from the previous uh, generation. So I wanted to go with that. And the main thing is uh, the new mic adapter is even uh, better apparently uh, tight, it fits tighter especially when it's mounted on a helmet uh, versus this guy here uh, this is still way better design than on a GoPro with that big microphone adapter that you had to deal with uh, this one here is just a little uh, tiny adapter and I did made a video on that uh, previously so I'm not gonna go into details on that uh, so the, the new adapter is slightly bigger so but first thing let's unpack this box and see what's uh, what's inside here I'm curious myself it just arrived today let's have a look inside So the big difference with this new camera is number one, it's got a better sensor, it's got a little bit bigger sensor and it has a 25% bigger battery. But I'm not gonna even bother with that because I still will be using uh, the older batteries uh, because of the cage uh, that is smaller cage and I have more of those batteries so maybe in the future once I move over to this uh, uh, if I get more batteries for the new RS system then I'll, I'll start using the other cage that came in this package so first we have the the core and the 4k mod Still nicely wrapped and if you haven't seen my previous video what I mean by module so basically all those pieces they come apart so this is your core this is your lens which can be switched with either the one inch sensor or 360 sensor and then you have your battery base so you just click all together and it becomes an action cam. But there's a lot of videos that goes into details of this product. So I will basically what, I'm doing, what I want to do here is I just want to unbox it and take it on the road uh, on my motorcycle and see how well the new camera performs. nothing else comes out of here so we'll put that aside and then probably that's a little box with the accessories let's have a look here show you what's inside here so you have your USB type C charging cable same as the previous generation microfiber cloth couple stickers and instruction manuals and what's in the back here that's the new case which is also different from the previous one so 
one thing that I like about this design here on this case the way you open it you open it from the side and that makes it so much easier to insert the camera especially when you have the bigger one inch mode so basically uh, Insta360 took a similar design to the small rig cage that I have but this cage here is the aluminum cage it opens very similarly on a side so you just pop the bracket and you slide the camera out of there so it's the same pr principle previous generation it opens the same way as a GoPro basically so you get your little uh, locking mechanism and then you take the camera out of there when you have the big lens the one inch mode it makes it you have to basically unscrew this thing before you can put it into the, the housing that's why I bought the small rig plus it makes it a little bit more durable the new camera is a little bit smaller with this battery if I use the other battery it would be fine to use it in the new cage but that's not a problem because I'm still going to be using, this, like I said, the small batteries with my original case. Then the last thing what you have in the box is just a mounting shoe and a, and a mounting screw to mount your uh, Insta360 and it mounts the same way as any GoPro, it uses the same accessories. So now we're going to jump into the new microphone adapter. It is bigger. Okay, I thought it's way bigger actually, but uh, when I looked it on the pictures, but uh, in reality, I don't think it's that big. No, actually it's, wow. All right. So this is a pretty awesome design actually, it's very small. So the previous one, I started talking about it. When you had it inserted, there's just a little bit of movement here. Um, I was always afraid that uh, that might break, even though you, I'm, I am careful with my equipment, but uh, that's kind of wobbly, but it's pretty sturdy actually. First thing I wanna see if that fits on the old one. I know they don't work together. So that part I know for sure. And that door is not any different. It's still the same design. So you have to completely take that off in order to put that in there. It does fit interesting let's power it up okay it fits but the camera does not detect it the camera door is still the same design uh, you have to be careful not to lose this part because that just holding on a little piece here so it's very easy to lose it so that fits only one way I was hoping that would fit the other way but it doesn't so it's just fitting one way. Okay, but that's beautiful. It's uh, nice and sturdy. And another huge benefit of this uh, little microphone adapter. So on top you have your uh, 3.5 millimeter jack and then on the bottom uh, you have the USB port. So if you are low on power, you can connect it to external battery bank and you can charge the camera while using it and uh, while having the microphone plugged in. That's a very sweet feature. Let's power this baby up. Uh, it's even charged somehow. Then it's go gonna ask me to do the connection part, uh, to connect it with my app and set up the GoPro. So I won't bother with that because there's a lot of other videos on this. So before so. I go for a ride, I, I just want to show you that it fits perfectly in uh, one R case so there is no problem to fitting one RS in a one R case and everything is nice and tight the mic adapter is nice and sturdy and your jack is right on top uh, so to route it very easily also I was able to pair it already with my uh, phone and I want to go over a couple of features here um, what op what options uh, for the video do you have on this camera so we have uh, different modes here on this one we have HDR active HDR then we have a time lapse uh, time shift slow motion loop recording which is good for to if you want to use the camera as a dash cam 
then the new feature that this core provides which i find it very use, uh, useless in my case because that's a 6k widescreen mode uh it makes the weird screen like kind of cinematic uh there's not much uh content uh, nobody's uh, making content in that then you have a burst mode uh star lap so you can shoot the stars at night and then you have a night mode and uh, interval shooting hdr photo and the regular photo mode and if you want to take photos with this uh, new uh, 4k active hdr mode it takes up to 48 megapixel photos so which are quite impressive uh, what i've seen on our reviews and what's nice now with the new insta cameras before you had to process all the footage in the insta360 studio or the app with those new cameras they have a built-in stabilization uh, which uh, the files comes out straight off the camera they stay stabilized unless you want to use the flow state what they called uh, because they have two different type of stabilization one is a flow state and the other one is just the in-camera stabilization so let's go right in day it's uh, beginning of April and uh, it's still not warm but it's supposed to be warmer than uh, has been so far today and tomorrow we're supposed to hit about 18 to 20 degrees Celsius and I decided to head out for a short ride uh, just nearby to Kenmore Alberta it's about an hour ride from Calgary it's still chilly in the morning it was six degrees well, not even it was around four or five degrees when i left the house uh, and right now it's uh, warming up it's supposed to get warmer uh, this afternoon and it's uh, 11 30 in the morning right now i just uh, hit today 900 subscribers thank you guys uh, thank you a lot for everyone that subscribed to my channel uh, that means a lot and uh, my hard work is paying off little by little uh, thank you again uh, for everyone that subscribe and uh, contributes to my channel and watching the content So another thing uh, I have got rid of my GoPros as I mentioned in a couple of previous videos and I switched over to Insta360 uh, cameras uh, action cameras That's a very similar camera to GoPro but it is fully modular and I do have reviews on my channel if you're interested to check them out uh, you're welcome to browse through and uh, have a look if you are not familiar yet with this because it's not as popular as GoPro but it really does an amazing job and um, this week um, I just received the similar version to this one because this is the 1R version and the one that I'm filming right now that's mounted on my helmet. That is a 1RS, which has an improved uh, half inch sensor. So it's got a little bit higher resolution. I'm pretty curious myself, how well is this going to perform and how the video is gonna look after I get home. So I get to ride through downtown that I do, don't do it too often. I'm not a fan of downtown. I live uh, totally on the other side of the city in the south. Uh, downtown is beautiful, but uh, it's just a visit a couple times a year. I'm not a fan of the chaos of the traffic and all the cars. Calgary is a beautiful city and the downtown is really nice, especially if you are visiting, if you've never been here before. I can recommend it. There's, uh, in the summer there's uh, usually a lot of events here along the river and the festivals and other stuff that goes on. There's a lot of people jogging and exercising uh, along the river. There's uh, pathways and walkways, uh, a lot of bike paths. So it's a pretty modern city, but at the same time, uh, people can uh, take the advantage of the pathways and stay active throughout the year pretty much, because it's not only in the summer, people take the advantage of those pathways throughout the whole year. 
this bridge here it's a peace bridge and it's a pretty cool looking bridge actually gotta change the lane there's construction everywhere spring is coming and the construction companies start digging and building stuff I'm heading out to Canmore and from there I would like to go to white man's pond I made a video on that a uh, couple years ago uh, while I was diving in that lake uh, so I figure it's a beautiful scenery all around that lake so once I get there I'll show you but first we have to get the hell out of the city so up ahead of me here we can see the Olympic Park that was 1988 Olympics I was still living back in Europe at the time there we are I'm a bit closer to the park now there's still snow on the hill throughout the winter it's open for everyone to ski and snowboard in this little section here it's perfect for kids to learn beautiful view of the mountains today it's pretty clear which is good clouded over a bit as I'm getting closer to Canmore we got some clouds on the sky no more blue sky as expected but again in the mountains never fail you can have four seasons in one day I'm going to pull over here at Lac des Arcs area it's a usually nice uh, usually it's a very nice pull out photo opportunities the lake is still frozen spectacular views up ahead and that's a Haleen peak on my left so very close to the dead uh, white man's pond so there it is those two mountains that uh, have a little ridge in between that's a Haleen peak one side is uh, pretty accessible and the other side is for daredevils they climb the other side with a rope and stuff like that Beautiful view of the of Kenmore, the town. Yeah, it's always a pleasure. Check that scenery. Just beautiful out here. On the left side, there's a quarry lake. I also scuba dive in that area there. Kenmore is very underrated. Uh, comparing to Banff, a lot of people when they come to Alberta, they all, everybody wants to visit Banff. But Kenmore and all the vicinity, they have so much to offer uh, from all the great hikes and uh, the views here uh, in this area are even more beautiful. Uh, like it's stunning all around. There's a couple of nice lakes in the summer, you can actually swim in, swim in them like Quarry Lake for example that lake the kids can swim and uh, during summer entering again Kananaski's country from a different side it's gonna be a gravel patch I wonder if that section is open it should be open it's usually this even in the winter but you never know with all the restrictions going on around I haven't been here for quite some time grassy lakes 
that's another beautiful area and the gravel begins it's not far it's just uh, like five minutes or so on the gravel road it's a steep one let's hope there's not too many cars that don't really want to get dusty and that stuff it's still not super dry yet it's Which is a good thing. No mess. Avalanche area, no stopping. Yeah. So a lot of pullover areas for tourists in the summer because that gets quite busy here and it's actually very scenic uh, this whole road see snow is still on the side it's super dirty but it's still snow as expected in the higher elevation here oh, the icicles are hanging there and it's uh, it is wet in here wow what a view what a view down there just gonna ride slowly through that stuff because i want to see wow look at that stuff it's just amazing staring to the side instead of looking in front Beautiful, beautiful. Just too bad I cannot launch the drone here. That would be amazing footage. But not allowed to fly in the parks. Oh, that's very soft, that stuff. I'm getting close. I'm just almost at the lake here on the other side of this dam. I wonder how far is that road open actually in the winter here? Because a lot of those roads, they close for the winter. There we go. White Man's Pond. Beautiful. It, there is access to the water. It's uh, time to come in scuba diving. This is a very shallow lake, but it's fun to practice here. A lot of tree stumps on the bottom. We are here, hey hey! Yeah, snap a couple nice photos here too. Anyways, so we got to the destination. Couldn't be any better timing. The mountain goats are coming down the slope. Maybe they're going for to have a drink of water or lick the salt. Hear the droplets of water melting this
so that's it guys for to little today's adventure we're gonna end this video in this little beautiful area a little gem in Canadian Rockies if you haven't been here it's worth it it's beautiful and in the summer there's a little beach area so you can walk around the water it's, it's gonna be cold always cold because this is moving and it's a dam anyways thank you for watching and see you in the next video cheers